I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody, so this video I'm going to be setting up Windows 11 22H2 on a bootable USB flash drive using Rufus. So the first thing you need to do <clears throat> is uh, download Windows 11 from Microsoft's website. So there's a little process you have to do. You can either create Windows 11 installation media but in this case, we want to download the ISO image. So you select Windows 11 Multi Edition ISO, and uh, you'll hit download, and it's going to do a little validation thing. And then you have to select your language, and then click OK or download or whatever it said. And uh, it will uh, then do another quick little validation thing, and then you can download the ISO image. Okay, so now we have Rufus 3.21 pulled up. And first thing we need to do is select our ISO image, which is right there, Windows 11 22H2. We'll select open. Now, in older versions of Rufus, such as 3.18 beta, you would have the options here to select between a standard Windows 11 installer or the one that would bypass the TPM checks and all that good stuff but now they have moved it to a dialog box that pops up after you click start so you go through and make sure everything here is right we have the we have the correct USB flash drive selected we got our image selected we're going to click start and here you can see it gives you several options here, and they are actually checked by default. Remove requirement for four gigabytes of RAM plus a secure boot and TPM 2.0. Remove requirement for online Microsoft account. These are two big ones because, in of course, Windows 11 21 H2, Windows 11 Home, pretty much forced you to connect to the internet and um, set up Microsoft account. There was a workaround but it's questionable if that workaround works in 22H2. So, and also Microsoft implemented this requirement into Windows 11 Pro on 22H2. So, it's nice that we can turn that off. And of course, we, again, we have the requirement for four gigabytes of RAM or more, secure boot, and TPM 2.0. And you can also have it create a local account with a username you, that you specify, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna leave that unchecked. I can, as long as it as long as it disables the Microsoft account enforcement, um, I'm good. And look here, there's another one. You can um, you can disable data collection, skip privacy questions, and you can set regional options to the same values as this user. So that's pretty neat. All this stuff that it offers. So the only one I'm not going to select is the create a local account with this username because depending on what I'm doing with the installer, I may set up as user or I may use my own name, it depends. So that being said, I'm going to select OK. And now it's going to warn me that it's going to wipe any data that's on that drive. So we're going to select OK. And now it's going to write the image to the flash drive with those options that we have selected. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to Kukur channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following Kukur Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.